Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to my Blitz Max tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about comments, uh, both multi-line comments and single-line comments, and the superscript. And we will also write our very first application here. Okay, so you'll notice that I'm using the community ID, uh, which is a step up from the IDE that comes with Blitz Max. Now, uh, we'll learn more about this ID as we go, but in essence, it is pretty much the same as the regular ID, except it has a few improvements, as you can see over here. Uh, the projects tab, instead of being with the help, is it was down here. It's now got its own tab, and I already have a few projects there that I've added in for tutorials we're going to do. All right. Now, let's go ahead and create ourselves a new source file. The first thing we're going to learn about is single line comments and use the apostrophe. And then if we type in anything like this is a single line comment, you will notice that this is commented out. And just for reference, this is what a command or a line looks like that hasn't been commented out. It's a slight shade of blue. Multi-line comments begin with rem and end with end rem. Now anything in between here, no matter where I put it, will be commented out. OK, now the next thing we're going to learn about, and this is something that we're going to use in every single uh, one of our tutorials. It is super strict. Now, there are there's one other variant of it called strict, and then obviously not using it would be nothing. Um, we won't be using strict either, but essentially this will force us to declare all our variable types and will essentially allow us, basically, if you've ever used a more strong type language, it will force us to type like that. So it will be a little bit more typing, uh, not much really, uh, but in the long run, it will save you a lot of hassle with bugs and all the other problems that will occur. We'll actually do a quick little uh, example of it later. Okay, so now for our first program, it, we're going to use the command print. And if we hit F1 down here at the bottom, you can see the command is print and it accepts a string as the parameter. And we did hello world. And now we are going to build and run. And you can see in the output that it spit it out. Now, uh, the other ID also has this option, but you can do a debug build, which will just be the, a slightly uh, larger file size. But I'm going to do a non-debug build. Not that it really matters uh, in this tutorial. OK, so that concludes this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover integers. And we're slowly going to work our way out of these really boring tutorials and move into more exciting tutorials, which actually involve making a game.